A quiet suburban street, only a few miles from downtown St. Paul, but a world away from the hustle and bustle of the city. It is the sort of place where families have backyard barbecues on Sundays. But last Thanksgiving, for one family, that all changed. It would be the last holiday they spent together in peace. I'm still a little bit in shock, to be honest. I can't believe that my family, someone in my family did that. It was just crazy, and by the time I got back in there, they were all just staring at each other, like, not saying a word. As the family sat, gathered around the table, none of them could have guessed the horrible events that would soon transpire. We had just finished dinner. <laughs> That turkey, yeah, I was pretty full from that turkey. It was so amazing. Now, Karen's going to claim ownership of how good that turkey turned out. But any Joe Schmo can throw a turkey in an oven in a couple hours, have it be okay. What makes it truly amazing is the turkey itself. I went to three stores, checked every single turkey. What you got to do, you got you to pick them up, feel them, lift them, jiggle them around, caress them, touch them, maybe even smell them a little until you find the perfect turkey. <laughs> Once you got that, everything else is easy peasy. Right, back to the cookie. Tell me about it disappearing. Well, I was pretty full after my, the, the turkey, and I've always loved those cookies. I'd already had three of them, but I noticed there was one left. So I decided to take it. I know, I know. I ran to reach for it, and right at that moment, Gary got up and left the table to get some water or something. I don't know. But as I was reaching for it, I looked, and all of a sudden, it wasn't there. When Uncle Gary got up to refill his water in the kitchen, he had no idea that he would be missing the crime of the century. What happened? What happened is I spent three weeks getting ready for this. Who made three pies? Me. Who cooked the turkey? Me. Who got up at six o'clock in the morning to start getting ready? Me. Did anyone help? No. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know how mom did it. And what about the cookie disappearing? I'm a good person. This shouldn't happen to me. Why? I, I voted for Obama. I, I even made Lauren one of those little pink kitty hats for the March thing last year. You mean a pussy hat? If you insist. What do you, what do you want to know? I mean, we, we ate dinner and you know, we were talking at the table. I, I was telling some hilarious jokes. I mean, everybody was laughing. But, you know, and uh, one of Nana's cookies was still on the table. And I, I didn't want to be the one who took it. So, <laughs> you know, I was kind of thirsty. And you know, so I walked into the kitchen and got some water from the sink. And, the, you know, the next thing I know, there's like all this gasping and commotion coming from the other room. The turkey had been eaten. The beer and wine were almost gone, but a single cookie remained on the tray. As the family talked and joked, each considered taking the cookie. We were all just talking after dinner. I was so full, I legit ate like five pounds of food. Uncle Gary was telling his jokes again like he always does, mostly dad jokes and puns. So dumb. But I had this great rosé, so whatever. Anyways. I noticed there was only one cookie left, and obviously no one was going to take it. We live in Minnesota. So, I sent a Snapchat to my best friend, because we were literally just talking about it. Through some technological black magic called a screenshot, we were able to recover the Snapchat in question. It clearly shows a single cookie left on the plate. So, can you tell us what happened at Thanksgiving dinner? I literally have no idea. I know it wasn't me, and I'm pretty sure Alex's arms are too short, so he wouldn't have been able to take the cookie without anyone noticing. It was probably my dad. He's been talking about Nana's cookies for like three months. Well, I'm not saying it was Gary, but it's awfully coincidental that he wasn't in the room when we all noticed the cookie was missing. Would he have been able to get it without you seeing? Uh, Gary's pretty sneaky. <laughs> I'm not saying he did it, but <laughs> he did it. Oh, maybe he even had Karen help him. Seriously, we're 
were saying disappeared. Like, it, somebody ate it. I mean, Karen makes more at Christmas. It's not the end of the world. The rest of your family seems to think it is. Oh, yeah, the rest of my family is so goddamn Minnesota nice that uh, they wouldn't think of taking a cookie. Actually, I'm kind of surprised somebody had the balls to do it. You know, when, when Mom was here, uh, we used to insist that she take the last one just so that no one else would have to take it. Who do you think took the cookie? Uh, hell if I know. I, but whoever did... God, I hope it was Karen. If I'm being totally honest, I know Gary's hiding something. I know Gary, and there's something he's not telling me. It would be totally like him to just take it and sit back and watch everybody self-destruct. It had to be Gary. Hey, I, I, I don't know what you think you saw, but it, it is not what it looked like. Seriously, I, I love the Vikings, man. I, I mean, I bleed purple and gold, I swear. You're not going to use that footage, right? It, it has nothing to do with the fucking cookie. Please, just just, just do me a solid, man. My, my, my family would never forgive me. Do you have a sweater or something I could borrow? It's freezing. Oh, yeah, of course. I suppose you're not used to that in California. Then I had a whole bunch of sweaters. Because there's gold in them there hills. <laughs> 